And Bernard Zool is a senior music writer at the Sydney Morning Herald. He joins me now live. Thank you very much for your time, Bernard. Why did Beyonce release a new album without any marketing or, or anything to, uh, to back up this, this new venture? Basically because she can, because she doesn't need most of the infrastructure of the music industry these days. And so does that mean that, that other artists may follow in her footsteps? Is this something that, that other people might do? It's something that other people might try. Whether they could get away with it to the extent that she has, it's harder to say. I mean, Beyonce is such a massive figure internationally. She has so many followers on social media, for example, that she could release something and have that disseminate, disseminated, disseminated, I apologize, uh, through the world without needing to uh, bother with general media or specific music media. Other artists won't have quite the same reach. They won't have quite the same ability to generate news just by doing something, which is what has happened with Beyonce. And tell us about the Tidal streaming service. Is this a renewal of relevance of, of Tidal for those who perhaps aren't very aware with the software? Well, Tidal is one of many streaming services and it's one that needs all the help it can get because it's late to the piece and it doesn't have the impact, hasn't had the impact on launch and hasn't had the impact subsequently of the existing heavy hitters such as Spotify. So what it needs is its big names and that includes Beyonce and Jay-Z and a few others to make the kind of splash that will bring people's attention to it. It's not a relaunch, it's not uh, a new vision for it, it's just the next big attempt to try and justify its existence. So in terms of impact then, how will this impact the industry and the evolving role of, of record labels, do you think? Well, it will certainly give a kick to the industry in terms of generating sales because once this becomes more broadly available it will have had a massive publicity push and will sell considerably. Uh, streaming is also another way that the industry hopes to recover its position, its financial position. So Beyonce can generate enough interest and enough sales to make this year a better year than it could have been for the industry generally and certainly for her label. And do you think that this is a case of that the boot is on the other foot now? Are artists becoming more and more in charge of their own music, do you think? Or is this specifically really only for the case of, of Beyonce here? Artists certainly have more control over their work and the uh, ability to spread that work. But the bigger you get, the more you become uh, an, an item in yourself really and someone like Beyonce has more power and more control than most other artists could ever dream of because she has generated sufficient financial drive in the past to give her freedom and she doesn't need as I said the infrastructure of the music industry in the same way that most other artists do so this is a sign of way the way things could go but it's a sign of the way things can go really well for particular artists it's not going to work for everyone it's certainly not going to work for most artists who are small who don't have a wide fan base who don't have the financial muscle to create a one-hour film of this quality and then to unleash it on the world with no publicity Okay, I look forward to checking it out. Bernard, thank you very much for that. That's Bernard Zool there from Sydney.